archaeological site in southwestern Colorado. Now let's go all the way to northeast Colorado to the Jones Miller archaeological site. Here's Todd McMahon of the Colorado Historical Society. The roar of thunder and an endless stampede. The screams and moans of bison heard echo on the prairie. 10,000 years ago, this was the scene depicted at the Jones Miller site in northeastern Colorado. The Jones Miller site is an important archaeological area. It was here in 1972 that rancher Robert Jones first noticed a large assortment of bones and projectile points while constructing an irrigation system. Jones told Jack Miller, a Colorado State University professor, of his find. Miller tested the site and contacted the Smithsonian Institution, which sent Dr. Dennis Stanford, an archaeologist and expert in big game hunters of the Paleo-Indian period, to excavate the site. Nearly 40,000 bison bones, 91 stone tools, 136 bone tools, and 29 complete projectile points were uncovered at the Jones Miller site. The stone tools were produced from material found as far away as Texas, Wyoming, Nebraska, and Kansas. Two distinct kill periods have been reconstructed. The meticulous excavation that lasted three years also uncovered many other interesting finds. One of the most unusual was the remains of a post hole in the earth that may have served as a medicine pole. Supporting this theory, Stanford and his team found the remnants of a tiny projectile point, a drilled antler bone, which may have been a flute, and the remains of a small dog. All these artifacts were found next to the pole. This site is one of the best documented bison kill sites in North America and will continue to be used as reference for future scientific inquiries. To find out more about the Jones Miller site, you can visit the Ray Museum in Ray, Colorado. From Denver, take I-76 to US-34. At the brush exit, proceed east to Ray. At the museum, the Smithsonian Institution has set up a small display on the Jones Miller site. Two other nearby Paleo-Indian sites are also featured as well as archaeological activities elsewhere from around the state. This Colorado Historical Moment has been brought to you by the Colorado Historical Society. Thanks, Todd. We've got one more break.